All right, so here we go. I'm going to explain to you your lab today on model ecosystems. So you'll follow this link right here to the virtual lab. And again, it might give you a message that um, Flash is not enabled. And you probably just have to double click on that icon and it'll load it for you. If not, you can follow this link to an article that explains how to enable Flash on your browser. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have any problems, send me a message through Schoology and I'll help you out. But anyway, um, when we get to the lab, you're going to read through the purpose and then through the uh, follow the procedures and you're going to record your data right here. So let me do the first one with you. Um, in this exploration, you're going to study and analyze five simplified model ecosystems. And in each one, you have to make a uh, uh, energy pyramid, right, with the different trophic levels, with the specific organisms that, that live there. And then you have to determine the uh, energy efficiency, and um, then you have to record that data. So let's do that together. So um, from this drop-down menu, you see that you have one, two, three, four, five ecosystems you need to analyze. So I'll do the deciduous forest ecosystem with you. So we're going to start with deciduous forest ecosystem. So I write that right here, deciduous forest. That's the ecosystem, right? You don't have to write ecosystem. That's what they all are, but deciduous forest. Okay, so that's the first one, deciduous forest. Okay, now I need to figure out from this list here, what are the producers, what are the first order heterotrophs or the primary consumers, what are the secondary consumers, what are the tertiary consumers? Now, how do I figure that out? Well, it's pretty easy. Where do plants go? We know that all plants are producers, so I put them down here. Right, that's what I'm, put them all down here, whoopsie, I guess you got to make sure you line them up next to each other, can't put them on top of each other, see if you do that, it puts it back up there, all right, so right here, there we go, so we know that plants are the producers, um, and you also have this field guide right here, um, so if you're not sure if something's a producer or not, you can read through um, the description right here. It has everything, all the information about deciduous forest. And for each ecosystem, there's information about it. So if you're having a hard time figuring it out, you can go back to the field guide and it'll help you. Okay. All right. So now let's think about the first order heterotrophs. Again, those are the primary consumers. Those are the ones that eat the plants. So let's see. Uh, chipmunks, right? Um, if you don't know, you can go into the field guide, right? And look for chipmunks. See where it talks about chipmunks, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ferns and grasses. Deer, rabbits, and small rodents such as chipmunks are plant eaters. All right. So this chipmunk here is going to be a producer, right? And a deer. What do deer eat? Um, that was in there too, right? It said deer uh, in the field guide. It said deer eat them too. And rabbits, right? Um, let's see. Uh, many birds like chickadees as well as insects eat the leaves and fruits. So we got our insects, right? Here we go. They're over there too. Oopsie. What happened? Uh, let's see. And what did it say? Chickadees, right? Oops. Got to make sure I put them on right next to each other. All right. And that looks like all of them. It doesn't really look like there's any more room. Um, okay. Now on to the second order heterotrophs, or what we call the secondary consumers. And so we can go in here. Let's see, the autotrophs form the first, oh, hold on. Okay, here we go. Woodpeckers, possums, and frogs eat insects, while snakes, foxes, and owls eat small rodents and frogs. All right, so we're going to have woodpeckers, possums, frogs, 
snakes, foxes, and owls. All right, so we got our foxes are going to be in here, and our possums. Oops, foxes. Uh, what did they say? Woodpeckers. Oh, gotta make sure I line them up next to each other. Snakes. Hmm. Frogs. Toads. Did I miss any? Let me see. Uh, snakes, foxes, owls. Did I do? Oh, owls. Got to do owls. Owls are in here too. There we go. And then obviously, right, there's only two left, so they're going to be up here. Uh, if I want to make sure though, you can always read about it. Uh, the top carnivores such as cougars, wolves, and hawks. Cougars, wolves, and hawks. I don't see cougars on there, so but I do see wolves and I see hawks. Right? Oh. Right, and as it says here, once you think you've got them all, right? If you think you got them in the wrong, in the right place, you click check. Yay! And it'll tell me whether I've got them all right. If I've got something wrong, it'll show me that too, and then I got to figure out the right place where they go. Well, once I've got all my uh, animals in the right trophic level, I click the pyramid of energy button to display the numbers indicating the amount of energy. So that's right here, the pyramid of energy. If I click right here, it tells me that the producers, I have about 6,000 energy, and then that gives me 623 energy in the primary consumers, 60 in the secondary, and six in the tertiary. And this follows that idea, right, of 10% going each time. Or the trick I learned, you just lose, uh, move the decimal place, right? Um, okay, so now um, to, you can also look at the pyramid of numbers, but we're not really interested in that, right? But again, it shows you the biomass, right? And how the biomass decreases. Um, but for this uh, ta uh, task, you need to calculate the conversion efficiency. And in order to do that, you, divide the energy of the highest trophic level with the energy of the lower one and you get a ratio it, it'll be a decimal so we click back to the pyramid of energy right and so we take the high the the highest level uh, which is our tertiary and there was six and then we take our producers which was six thousand and eleven and so they give you a little calculator here at the bottom. So you can do it right here. My calculator, six, right, what was it? Six divided by 6,011, and I should get a fraction, uh, a decimal, right? And so my decimal, 0 0.00009, Nine. Oh my gosh, do I really got to have that whole number in there? Let me see. All right, we're just going to use the first decimal, uh, the first number, right? So it's 0 0.0009, but of course, if I drop these off, that makes that 9 a 10, and that'll be a 1. So it's going to be 0 0.001. 0 0.001. So I write that down here, 0. 0, 0, 1. That's my conversion uh, efficiency. Now I also need to write in the names of the producers and all the organisms. So for my producers we had um, deciduous trees, ferns, berry bushes, wildflowers, and grasses. So let me type those in. Right? Decidu deciduous trees ferns, berry bushes, wildflowers, and grasses. All right, and then my primary consumers, right? We had chipmunks, deer, foxes,
Oh, possums, rabbits, wolves. Oh, oh no, no, that's, I'm sorry. I'm doing that wrong. Right, those are not our, uh, it's not just like that. So what were those? That was a chipmunk, insects, chickadee, rabbit, fox. Chipmunk, deer, chickadee, insects, rabbit, Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now we've got frogs and toads and owls. Frogs, toads, owls. What was that? Opossums, woodpeckers, snakes, and foxes. Opossums. Woodpeckers, snakes, and foxes. And my third order was hawks and wolves. All right, and now I do the exact same thing, but for the next ecosystem, which is, you just click from the drop down menu, a hot desert ecosystem. All right, so there we go. So you'll do the exact same thing, um, calculating the uh, energy efficiency and, uh, you know, use the field guide to figure out which organisms go where. And then you just complete the data table for all um one two three four five for all five ecosystems and then you'll go ahead and use that information to answer the journal questions and you give me your three reflection questions and then you're all done you turn it in all right um looks like it'll be kind of fun again you get to learn about being an ecologist and who knows maybe you find out you like it and you want to do it as a career if you have any questions, if you need any help, send me a message through Schoology and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alrighty, take care then. Bye bye then.